Now, the difference in news and information on the air and on the web. This is today's THV at 5. And improving cybersecurity in Arkansas, protecting your personal information and confidential state records. First at 5 tonight, cybersecurity experts come to Arkansas to train state and local officials how to protect vital information. It's been almost a year since President Obama announced his cybersecurity initiative, and many local officials are doing their part to make their towns safe from hackers. THV's Jessica Duff tells us how they're doing that through learning how to hack ethically. She joins us now with details. Jessica. Don, cybersecurity is an important safety and financial issue for state, local, and federal governments. The number of attacks have steadily increased over recent years, and one way to combat these attacks? Learning how to be a hacker by beating a hacker. It's definitely an eye-opener, I think, for a lot of folks to realize that these things that, that they take for granted are accessible to people that shouldn't have access to them. Mark Barber is learning how to improve state and city cybersecurity through computer ethical hacking training. We wanted to expand our knowledge of, of the security field in general. So uh, the CEH is actually, uh, it gives insight into a lot of different components of securities. Michael Gregg, COO of Superior Solutions, is teaching the students how to go on the offensive when it comes to cybersecurity. Goal is, is to see what the bad guys see how they get this information, and then how we can better secure these networks. Well, IT and security workers are gathering here to learn how to think and act like a hacker, all for security purposes. We show them the same techniques that the hacker would use, and then by showing them those techniques, then we can show them the defenses and show how to prevent against those items. Greg suggests five steps to protect a company's network. One, make sure your systems are up to date and patched. Two, limit the type and amount of email attachments that come in. Three, raise awareness among employees. Four, update antivirus software. And finally, conduct periodic scans for vulnerabilities, malware, and malicious software. Anytime you have a system or network or any kind of entry point, you have to assume the worst that it's that it's not protected. I mean, most people assume that things things are protected um, by design, and that's not the case usually. Now, classes like these are part of President Obama's cybersecurity initiative and a national cybersecurity education program. The feds will continue to invest research and development on this issue. Don. All right, Jessica, thank you. To find out more about President Obama's cybersecurity initiative and ways to protect your computer, click on the links in the story, todaysthv.com.